right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content and news. One for the money, two for the show, three time for all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Gym. Really fresh from the gym, fresh from the barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, listen, man, the number one, I might be the worst player in the whole 2K community. But I'm probably the best basketball player in the 2K community. I'm, I'm up there now. I'm, I'm top five, damn it. Y'all think I'm top five as far as hitting the gym? And, and I'm probably top one as far as hitting the gym. In my age category, I, I'm top one, probably. Anyway, man, y'all already know what time it is, man. Look, the reason I always preface with saying that I'm trash is because somebody always gonna always inevitably say something like that when you're trying to talk about um, the 2K League, who made it, who didn't, who's good enough, who's not, and all of that. As if you have to have that type of talent in order to be able to judge that type of talent. Max Kellerman can't box, man, but he can tell you who can box. Skip, Skip, Skip and Shannon, they can't play no more, but they can tell you who can play, they can be good analysts. I don't have to, like, the whole notion of you have to be able to perform on that level to either coach on that level or judge talent on that level is asinine. It's just plain fucking stupid, all right? When your boss comes in and hires you for a job, the HR person is completely incapable of fixing computers and setting up a network and doing all the IT work, right? but they can judge the person that can come in and do it. Why do we know that they're incapable of doing that thing? Because if they were capable of doing it, they would be the IT person rather than being the HR person. So again, for us that live in the real world, we're used to be, you're used to having our performance and have real jobs and stuff. We're used to having our performances judged by those who are incapable of doing what we do. They don't know what it took to do it. They don't care what it took to do it. The only thing they care is, did you do the job? And can you do the job? And why didn't it get done? I don't give a damn if they can do it or not. And what they always tell you, if you can't do it, we'll get somebody that can. Like that's just how real life is. So this whole notion of, well, you ain't, you can't play. You never played WR, you never played. Bitch, shut the fuck up. My, the person that hired me never set up a network. They hired me to set the fucking network up. Like that's how that's how real life works. So like like I said, I just I just don't get that when people try to try to be like, hey, if you ain't never done it then, or if you can't play on that level, why why is it that I mean, you ain't really qualified to talk about it? That's stupid. That's stupid. Well, you don't talk for a living, so you're not even qualified to talk. So you can shut the fuck up too. Like what? Like I I, I don't get it, man. Anyway, the whole point of this is because a lot of people that was a lot of people's argument and backlash and that was their that was their comeback when people were talking about hey you know some people got snubbed like we said dirt got snubbed i felt like dirt got snubbed me and t were talking about it yesterday you know there's somebody that actually can play he probably was one of t fresh he got snubbed you know we felt like those people got snubbed and then like we had we had people come out and say stuff like well you know some people some people aren't being real with themselves which i agree and some people, you know, actually did get snubbed. I do agree with that. But like some of the retorts that were like, hey, well, you know, uh, this person that don't play league, uh, you know, commenting, commenting on the, like that's, that's just plain stupid. We can judge talent. I can tell that you was getting your ass torched the entire time in the league and smoking jump shots. I can tell that people were getting outboarded. I can tell that doggone, you know what I'm saying? Like we can see what's going on. I can tell that somebody was just left, right and behind screens. Like we can, we got eyes. You don't have to be a professional, but though it is what it is, man. The whole, the whole point that I'm, that I'm trying to make is you don't have to perform on that level to be able to judge talent on that level. We can see what's going on relative to 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 who's around you, and we can tell. And and so saying all of that, man, what I really am trying to say is like a lot of people that didn't get drafted, they probably shouldn't have got drafted, and a lot of people that didn't that did get drafted, they're there. But the thing that, that bothers me the most is just looking at this whole thing, you're seeing a lot of people saying like, females didn't get drafted simply because they're female. I think that's asinine. I don't think that there's any girls that didn't get drafted because they're, they're, they were female. But we got people saying, hey, 
um, you know, she didn't get drafted because she was female, but like all the guys didn't get drafted because they are because they weren't good enough. And all the females didn't get drafted because they're female. Like that doesn't make sense to me. Like, why can't they not get drafted because they're just not good enough either? Or they wouldn't have fit in, or the chemistry would have been off, or any of that other stuff. Like, like I saw one video last night and, and like my man was like, you know, the reason that you probably didn't get drafted, you're not good enough, you're weird, or you just wouldn't fit into the system. Like why and weird just means you wouldn't have fit in with the chemistry and all of that stuff. Why can't it be the same thing for the for the females? Why can't it just be why can't we look at the league and say, you know what, this is progressive? They hold a lot of people. So the girls that the females that didn't make it, it's it's simply because somebody either felt they weren't good enough or somebody felt like they just they just didn't look. Hey, look, the first thing, let's do this right quick. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this video right quick. We're gonna show this video that um Fab was talking about and then we're gonna go from there. Let's let's just watch this. Hey guys, last night I made a little fun periscope. We talked about multiple things. We talked a lot of, about different things. Uh, one of the main things I said was uh, the topic of Hazel, uh, a 2K League gamer. That's the girl. Like, I kept explaining how she's one of the best dribblers I've ever seen in my life. Like, she's 10 times better than me at dribbling. Can't handle the ball 10 times better than me. Like, and she has high IQ, but she didn't get selected draft night. And that was confusing on my end. Like, I was just confused. And I feel like if people took a chance on her, and sat down with her and taught her how to pass better and make reads, that would make her a top point guard MVP candidate in the league. But I feel like teams are afraid to take risks. So I'm just making this video wondering what can I and what can we do as leaders of this community to support women and put them in positions of power. Like we need to do better as men and we need to stop hating on these women because these women are really good. Shout out to little lady too. Little lady, I seen her. She was killing it in the women's camp. Like, we need to be more supportive, man. This community, like, I'm not gonna lie. I have a lot of dudes that hate on me, so I can I don't. Even, I can't even imagine what these women are going through. We gotta do better as men. We gotta do better as leaders. We gotta support each other, man. Hazel, little lady, baller girl. Since the GB, since the GB days, baller girl's been killing shit. Come on, like, we gotta do better. Just let me know in the comments what y'all think. And what I can do better to help you guys out. Alright, so <clears throat> that was Fab Spiel right there. And I don't disagree with a lot of the stuff that he said. But you know, if people were killing it since the GB days and all of that good stuff, and they've been around and you've been you've known in the league and all of that stuff, I just don't see you not getting picked up. Just like he said, his he said uh what he said, Hazel is good at dribbling, but if somebody sat down with her and helped her with passing, helped her, she probably would good at dribbling and scoring. But if somebody sat down and helped her with passing and um and reads and stuff like that, then you know she would be one of the top point guards in the league. Unfortunately, passing and making reads is like 90% of your job. Dribbling, the, the game literally dribbles for you, right? So if you're in a spot where you can dribble your ass off, but you need help with making reads and making good passes and things like that does that mean to, and this is just me talking does that mean that you are you really ready to play point guard at that level i'm just asking a question y'all let me know and the thing is if you know what she needs and know what she does needs help with and all of that stuff and you're asking what can we do you know to get to get better white knight and uh, and that's a that's a term like uh you know like, you know, y'all know what it is when people white knighting in the chat. So it seems like he's white knighting right now. That's fine. If that's what you want to do, that's cool. But you're in the league and you know what it takes. Why don't you sit down with her and help her along and show her, okay, this read, that read, that's what you need to know. When you're going, when you're driving, you got to, you know, pick up on your keys. This person is baiting. This person is not really going to come. He's faking. You can wait. You can actually wait an extra second to press the button and all of that stuff. Like, I feel like that we could all help people. Like, like I, I just, I, I've always, like, been, been like, when you when you say that, that what can we do, it's like, what are you going to do? You make the first move. If you show interest in these people and Fab, one of the top point guards in the 2K League is sitting down with this person and you're helping and it's saying, hey, you've got, she's got real promise. 
you help elevate her to the forefront, help her help her be in WR, help her do all of that stuff. I don't know if she was in WR or not, but I'm just saying if you do those things and you elevate her to the forefront, just like we just like they did with Bear the next year, then she gonna have no problem getting getting into the league. She will have no problem with uh, making it, and she'll have no problem with being, like you said, she could be an MVP candidate. I just don't see how in, uh, somebody that could be an MVP candidate can't make it. You, you understand what I'm saying? If you didn't make it, you didn't make it for a reason. I understand what he's saying. <clears throat> I largely agree. But that's just like saying, Jay could be a top center. He can shoot, and he can play good defense, but I need to learn better reads on um, offense, on how to roll to the hole. Uh, I need to know when to jump. I need to know when to use, but that's half of being a center. So if you do, if I need all that work, am I a top center? I have the potential, but we ain't drafting off of potential. This ain't the, this ain't the NFL and stuff like that. This is you, this is the third year of this league. You're supposed to already be established. If you still need help with reads and passing and things like that, then you're just not at the top of the game. You know what I'm saying? This is like in Gears of War. If you said that, hell, I, 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 my movement is the dopest or my shot is the illest, or just like what they say with Nick Merckx. Nick Merckx got the nicest shot in Fortnite, but he couldn't build. But does that make, does that mean he's, well, you're not a good player then? You have to be on the team, and yes, you can beam people and do that, but you yourself, are you really that good if you're missing half of what the game requires you to be able to do? I'm just asking a question, man. Like I said, if y'all know, and y'all seen her play and stuff like that, y'all can tell me down in the comments, yeah, she, she's really good. She, she should have been in the league. I know, like I said, I know Dirk should have been in the league. Um, you know, T. Freshy should have been in the league like me and T was talking about. If they ain't make it, I don't know what hope anybody else really have. But I, like I said, he pretty much just said it in a nutshell. She don't have all the skills that it take to be, to be that, you know, to be in the league just yet. So she works on those things, take this year to work on those things. I don't see, and then she gets snubbed, and then she she shows that she really has improved. Then I don't see why she wouldn't be in that next year. It just is what it is. The league MVP Bear last year had to wait a year and prove himself. Why should anybody be any different? Female or male alike? I don't know, man. A lot of people got snubbed, though, so I ain't finna sit here and act like, you know, that girls, they, they just didn't get that just because they female. Anyway, man, up next, I done beat a dead horse. Uh, hey, a lot of people ain't gonna like this video, boy. I'm keeping it real in this motherfucker today. I don't give a fuck. You ain't whoop my ass. Anyway, Sony. Sony patent, <laughs> Sony patent hints that the PS5 controller will detect sweat and heart rate. Look here, man. Look, check this, check this joint out, man. Sony patent hints that the PS5 controller will detect sweat and heart rate and more. A new Sony patent may reveal some real reveal some rather surprising new features for the PS5 DualShock controller. According to the patent, the controller will could use biofeedback to modify user experience with data collection from the player's hands while they are playing the games. The patent details that DualShock grips which will which will track sweat and heart rate. The PS5 will will then modify user experience based on this information. I, I don't know how that's going to happen. What they're going to do? Uh, but e examples aren't given. But but in the past they have suggested that the technology could be used to make the game easier. If what? If it's too stressful, or if the or in the case of a horror game, ramp up the ramp up the scares. If the player's heart rate isn't responding accordingly, how the hell, bro? We out. So what? We gonna have dynamic dynamic hardness? What is this? A Viagra cap or something? You can't do stuff like that, man. So we gonna make the game easier. And so so what about the dudes that's playing 2K to sight that goddamn sweating their balls off just trying to beat you? Yes, I'm playing against Jay. I'm gonna beat him this time, but. Look here, this is what I want to do. This is what I think we should do. Instead of making a game harder or easier based upon a person's sweat, obviously this is offline games and stuff like that. It's not going to make the online easier. What I feel like you should do is, if somebody's heart rate is a little bit too damn high or they sweating too damn much, you should cut the game off. It's a great parental feature. If my kid is back there stressing himself out over some bullshit that don't even matter, cut the motherfucking game off. That's what I want to see. Can we have that done? And all this stuff, it'll be taken in jest, man. Don't don't take the shit I say seriously, man. I know somebody gonna be butt hurt down in the comments and stuff, but about about the female thing and all. But man, if y'all taking me seriously, then man, y'all need you. Anyway, uh, look here. 
Well, if I hurt your feelings, I must have said something true. But look, man, if you're if you sweating that bad and all that, like I got like this controller right here. I got this controller. It's got the grips on and stuff, the rib thing. So it does help you. But I, I don't think my, my hands don't sweat. But I know a lot of people's hands do sweat when they play the game. They be sweating like a motherfucker. If you sweating that bad trying to win a game or you just or your heart rate is that high and stuff, you probably need to get off the game, man. And and I, I hope they do make it a parental feature. I hope you see people out there in the middle of 2K, they do just stand straight up and they say they quit the game. Because they sweating too damn hard trying to beat somebody in a game that don't even matter so they can post a, a five-second clip or something like that. It's crazy, man. I don't know, man. What y'all think about it, though, man? How do do y'all think it's a good thing, bad thing? I can understand if you're playing something like The Last of Us or you're playing one of those super scary games where, you know, it's like, ah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like the jump scares and, and my heart rate is too high, so let's tone down the scares or if I'm too mellow, Let's make, I, I don't know, man. I don't know how, how, how I feel about that. How I do feel about one thing, though, we're going to talk about the loading time and the new hard drives that we're going to put in these games. Nick, boy, them joints, fire. You should literally be able to turn your game on. Like, they're going to use, um, they're going to be using solid state hard drives and uh, M.2 hard drives. And a lot of people, this shit is going right over your head. You don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But they're going to be using solid state M.2 hard drives, boot drives, and you're going to be able to add dynamic M.2 memory. Man. Long story short, you should be able to turn on your PlayStation, launch 2K, la uh, turn on your PlayStation, launch 2K, and be in the park within 45 seconds. Not launch 2K 45 seconds. No, 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 no. We talking about six seconds for your game gaming system, or nine seconds for your gaming operating system to boot up. Boom, nine seconds. Another nine to 12 seconds for your, I mean, let's say, let's say 15 seconds. So I'm gonna say 10 seconds to boot up, 15 seconds, for you to um, launch 2K and, and you to be at a screen. So that's what, that's 25 seconds. And then another 20 seconds or so to load the park or whatever. Instead of it being like, like somebody say I'm loading up right now. So you know this is gonna be like five minutes when they turn their game on and all that stuff. No, it should be under a minute. You should be able to be in the park. And that's with, with you know, the server latency and all that stuff, man. It, it really depends. But that's gonna be dope as hell. I'm gonna go further in depth with that on tomorrow but last but not least man nba 2k 2's got a video man my guy got a video on range extender now as y'all know if you watched my video last night my jump shot video last night i put my range extender on gold now i'm not gonna lie to you being on gold it for me has been just as good as being on hall of fame and i'm actually hitting more shots because i put my uh i put my joint on on gold and i got hot zone hunter on gold so i'm hitting more shots as soon as i build more more uh more joints i'll be good also talking about moving truck and talking about it was moving truck and what's the other one uh lock that post lockdown move I have the highest strength in the game. I got 99 strength. I put both of those on bronze. People can't back me down. You really can't do nothing in the post. And I didn't really sacrifice anything. I'm going to show y'all the best badge video, uh, the best badge setup for Bigs uh, later on today. But that's about all I got for y'all, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Do y'all think these girls got snubbed because they're women? Let's have a serious conversation and no bashing and all that stuff, man. Do, are, are these women not making it because they're women? Or just because they're not good enough and they need to work on things just like everybody else? I really don't think, I mean, they drafted a girl last year, a female last year, so I really don't think it's that. And just because I think somebody is really good, that doesn't mean that the GMs and all those guys really think that they're that good or whatever. Somebody out there thinks I'm the best 2K player ever. I don't know why you think that, but somebody does think that. But everybody else don't. So, you know, it is what it is. And last but not least, man, but OFAB did put this up, man, this truth bomb. Look here, man. Health, healthy, healthy grocery. This is something that people need to know if you want to get in shape and all that stuff, man. All these damn excuses. I hate excuses. Y'all know I hate excuses. Look, healthy grocery beer. $100 is too expensive, but a dinner date, $100 is reasonable. A month supplements, $100 can't afford that. A night out drinking with your friends and stuff like that. Weekly. Every week, this is $100. Personal growth seminar, $250. $250. Crazy talk. A Gucci bet. Gucci! $250. Uh, I need to have it. I'm never. I don't. Think, I don't believe in the personal growth stuff. I know some people need it. I'm not a person that needs it because I'm my own motivation. But if you need it, that, that, that's cool. Um, because everybody needs something like that sometimes. Start a business. A thousand can't justify that. But an iPhone 11 is a grand. Hey, 
that's the newest model. I need it. Hey, I ain't gonna lie about that. I, I do that, but I got my own business too. 60 minutes in the gym. I wish I had the time. 60 minutes watching Netflix. Time flies. Another one. Hey, look, everything in life is about priorities, and what you prioritize will dictate, you know, what your life looks like. And that is largely true, but I will say another one, though. People, cr people look at me like I'm crazy because I got two gym memberships. I pay $20 a month to go to Planet Fitness, and I pay $29 a month to go to, uh, to LA Fitness. In the beginning, people thought it was crazy, but when I tell you you're gonna spend more, you're gonna spend more than $20 on dinner today. You're gonna spend more than $50 on eating this week. And I put and I and I buy all the groceries from the store and I rarely eat out. So I spend a hundred dollars a week and we feed a family of three with that hundred dollars or what have you. So you, you understand what I'm trying to tell you? It's it's not it's all about priorities. But I, I do that so that I can go to the gym more often and that's what works for me. I'm not saying it's gonna work for you, but I'm saying that that works for me. But it's not crazy to have two gym memberships. I'm paying I'm spending fifty dollars a month. Shoot, I spent I spent three hundred dollars on this controller. You understand what I'm saying? So when you look at things and how they are relative, you look at how you look at you know I spent I spent seventy dollars on a mic the other day. I spent fifteen dollars on this jug of water. Or whatever you understand? Know so when you look at stuff how it's relative and how the, how how it works and how it's gonna benefit my life, me going to the gym twice a twice a day is gonna far outpace that twenty dollars that they asking me. And then then you get the free massages. You get the little toning machine. You get all the benefits, man. You got to look at the benefits and stuff, man. But if you want it bad enough, you'll find a way to make it work, man. Even if it's to your detriment. <laughs> you want it bad enough, you're going to make it work. Anyway, man, I'm talking too much real shit today, man. Give me a cop. Give me a damn like down there for more of this damn 2K real shit. Like my boy, The Murder Show. It's The Murder Show. Fuck with me. Y'all know I rock with The Murder Show, man. But anyway, check that out, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Y'all holler at your boy. And uh, we're going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Godspeed. Yeah, somebody gonna probably say I'm an idiot and repost this video on Twitter and all that stuff. Do y'all look like I give a fuck? Watch this. Hey, Bridget, you still love me? Oh, well, shit, that's all that matters. And I'm out. Peace.